Hello everyone, Downs Bro here. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple tutorial on how to switch rooms in Game Maker 2. It's going to be a very, very simple tutorial. Um, so we're going to make it so that on a button press, switch room. Simple. So, I've created a new um, project here called Room Switch Tutorial. We have nothing but the starting room, which Game Maker, of course, uh, is preloaded with uh, Game Maker 2 at least. So, in our rooms here we have nothing. Nothing at all, it's totally blank. Uh, let's go ahead and make that 100% zoom. Totally blank. Let's quickly add a background to it, so... It's a, bit, it's a bit nicer to work with, a bit of a nicer environment to work in, really. So, really, first, let's get straight into it. Let's go into our objects and create a switch room object. So, object room switch, there we go. It doesn't need to have a sprite at all. It's just going to be an invisible object that we are going to place into room zero. Uh, before we get into the code for the room switch, let's create an another room, the room that we're going to be switching to. So room one, whoops, let's rename it. Oh no, we'll we'll leave it room one now because it works with room zero, room one. The naming conventions are similar, so for this tutorial, that's totally fine. Obviously, if you're putting this into a game, it's much better to rename the rooms. Even if it's something like room underscore one, room underscore zero, space really helps. So let's get straight into it. Uh, the object code here. Let's go into the create event of the room switch object. And what we're going to do is initialize a variable here. Just one simple variable. So let's type in initialize variable. And what we're going to do is create a variable named new room. And this will be equal to no one. So no one, of course, means sort of a placeholder. Um, you can set it later, pretty much. I mean, even in the creation code of a room, which is what we're going to do. Or later in a step event, in an if statement, maybe. So new room equals no one, so far. Now, what we're going to do here, let's go into the step event. And now here's when we're going to put in our code for actual actually switching the rooms is very simple so switch rooms so let's actually set up a key here as well for um, switching the room so we're gonna do var we're gonna call it switch key for now equals keyboard check pressed and let's do VK right and that's the right arrow key so we've now created a variable called switch key and now instead of putting an if statement which states if keyboard check pressed vk right all that we can simply put if switch key there we go so if switch key let's open the curly bracket room go to and this will go to the room you put in. So for example, room one. However, this will make it so that if we press the switch key, it goes to room one. And we don't want it to do that. We want it to go to the next room. That way we can put this one object in room zero and room one. And from room one, it could go even to room two. If we were to create a room two, like so. And that way you don't have to have a object for room zero to switch to room one and an object for room one to switch to room zero and a separate object to switch from room two to room one etc 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 because that way in a game with however many levels 20 so levels you're going to need a lot of separate objects so here we're going to put room go to new room there we go and end the curly brackets here and that's it so now let's go into our room and let's place in our object room switch here and now we're going to double click this in the creation code we're going to set the new room to be room one so there we go now room one has nothing it's totally black let's make it a different color so we we know we've switched to it uh, that'll do a blinding blue so let's run the game here. It should start up on room zero, and when we press VK right, which is of course the right arrow key, it should switch to the blue room. There we go. 
Now, the great thing with this um, creation code is that you can also have multiple objects in one room. Um, in this case, we can't really do that because we've put it so VK right um, is switching it to the new room. And if we have two new rooms, it's it's not going to like that. It's going to be an error, of course. However, you could switch the, the controls. For example, put that in the creation code. So switch key equals, instead of key project VK right, keyboard check vk left or something so then the left arrow key switches it to room two for example instead of room one which is what vk right will switch it to another very simple thing to do very useful thing i should say is if we put an object object room switch in room one we can then put new room equals room two and now, if we press press VK right in room one, it will switch to room two, which is black. So there we go. So there we go. I hope that helped you. That was a very simple, very quick room switch tutorial. You could also pair this with on collision with the object switch to uh, the new room, which would be very simple. It'd simply be in a collision event instead of the step event if switch key. Uh, and that's it. So, I hope this helped you a lot. Be sure to subscribe for more frequent Game Maker 2 tutorials. And uh, other than that, have a nice day.